This demonstration is intended as a resource for previous students and licensed clinicians who can perform dry needling in their practice acting jurisdiction. Please do not attempt dry needling without proper licensure and training. So I'm going to needle towards her tubal tube. So I tap this in. I'm going to send this down towards her tubal tube. Real gummy, and there's her tuberosity, but it is real gummy. And then I'm just gonna pack that. Put that in. What sizes are you using? Uh, I could have used a 15, but I just didn't have any with me, so this is a 30. Now through the gumminess of the tendon insertion, and then now I'm just on the bone. So I'm just kind of oscillating that mm -hmm. and pecking it. Oh, that's gross. Just creating micro trauma with it. It's gross. Oh, it just feels gummy and it feels like it hurts. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was a groan. Ooh, that's the one. Yep. So right on her <laughs> tuberosity, tapping that, obviously through her incision too. It's like hit it, gummy, grab it, and then coming back off of it, and then we're just irritating the periosteum. It's irritating. <laughs> You're like, yep. She's just holding on to it. It's irritated, all right. Is this where you would do, like, spinning too, or no? Oh, yeah, we're going to do that next. Will we spin for the tendon or just mostly for the scar? Uh, normally, I do spinning for scar, but we're going to do it for this tendon too. And there's bone. I'm just going to isolate that. up a little bit. You feeling those? Those aren't bad. It's the two on the See how when I have the spun and it's tight and I I'll can pull feel on it. it but they don't. See what it's doing to the other needles? That one hurts the most. Ooh, that's nice and tight there. So it's spinning kind of, you know, righty tighty lefty loosey. Yeah, sure it doesn't matter. Yeah, well, if you spin it, it'll tighten up. Anyway, so that's that's more insertional patellar tendinopathy. And then to do more, uh, if it was kind of the bottom of the kneecap, you would do the same technique. You would just do it up towards the bottom of the kneecap. That's what you would end up doing. Or quad, same thing. You're sending it down. Down towards the kneecap from the quad tendon.